So recall that two angles are complementary if added together they form a right angle. That is, their angle measures together form 90 degrees. So if you have the angle measure 40 degrees, its complement would then be 50 degrees. Recall also that supplementary angles are those angles whose sums uh, turn out to be a flat angle or a half plane. In other words, a two angles are supplementary if their angle sum is equal to 180 degrees. So the supplement of 40 degrees is going to equal 140 degrees. So notice that the complement of 40 is 50, but the supplement of 40 is 140. 40 plus 50 adds up to be 90, which is why it's complementary. And 40 plus 140 gives you 180 degrees, which is why they're supplementary. Um, likewise, if you take the angle measure 110, which you'll notice this is an obtuse angle, the complement of 110 degrees is actually negative 20 degrees. Uh, you have to rotate clockwise 20 degrees to get 90 degrees. 120 minus, excuse me, 110 minus 20 gives you 90 degrees. On the other hand, the supplement of 110 degrees would be 70, degree, 70 degrees. And so uh, we can compute these things in general. If you ever have an angle measure, theta, and you want to compute its complement, the complement will just be 90 degrees minus theta, and the supplement will just be 180 degrees minus theta. That's all it is to computing complementary and supplementary angles. The first angle, 40 degrees, of course, was an acute angle because it's less than 90 degrees. Uh, if you have an acute angle, its complement will be acute, its supplement will be obtuse, so 140 is larger than 90 degrees. If, on the other hand, you have an obtuse angle, its complement will actually be negative, acute, but negative, um, and its supplement will, in fact, be an acute angle as well. Uh, so consider the following angle diagrams. Let's see if we can work through this a little bit. So we have an angle diagram right here. We have two angles. One of them is three times, one angle measured, the degree measure, is three times some unknown quantity x. The other is six times some other quantity, some, some unknown quantity x. And we know that the union of the two forms a right angle. We see that by the little square diagram right there. So that would suggest that these two angles are complementary angles. So we know that if we take 3x degrees plus 6x degrees, this is going to add up to be 90 degrees. So adding these together just by usual combined like terms, we end up with 9x degrees is equal to 90 degrees. We can divide both sides by 9, and we end up with x, x degrees, is going to equal 10 degrees. In other words, x equals 10. All right. And so that tells us that this angle measure is going to be 30 degrees and this angle measure is going to be 60 degrees. So just using basic principles of algebra and knowledge of complementary angles, we were able to fill in the unknown angles in this diagram. Uh, let's look at the second diagram right here. In this situation, we see that these angles are going to be supplementary. The union of the two angles forms a half angle, forms a half plane. So this time, one angle is going to be four times some unknown quantity. The other is going to be six times an unknown quantity, all being measured in degrees. And so we see that 4x plus 6x is going to equal 180. Okay, 4x plus 6x is 10x, which if we divide both sides by 10, we see that x equals 18. Therefore, the 4x angle is going to be four times 18, which is going to be 72 degrees. And then 6x, that is 6 times 18, that's going to equal 108 degrees. And therefore, again, using a little bit of algebra, we're able to fill in the missing information inside of these diagrams.